Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, it's a pleasure uh, to welcome uh, Foreign Minister Fadan, my friend Hakan, here to uh, the State Department, to Washington, and all of our colleagues. Uh, the United States and Turkey are very close uh, and critical allies at a time when we have many challenges on our plate together. But uh, we are facing them together, and that makes all the difference. Uh, yesterday, uh, I had the honor of uh, welcoming, formally welcoming Sweden into our alliance, our shared alliance, the 32nd NATO ally. And I again want to uh, thank um, the Foreign Minister, uh, thank President Erdogan, uh, thank Turkey for the very good and important work that was done to bring us to the point of welcoming Sweden into the alliance. Uh, we're very focused uh, together on uh, alliance issues, of course, on the ongoing Russian aggression in Ukraine, uh, where Turkey has been playing a critical role uh, in supporting Ukraine in uh, a whole variety of ways that we'll talk about uh, today. And of course, we're intensely focused on the Middle East uh, and the conflict in Gaza. Uh, the strong shared desire to minimize and end the suffering of innocent women, children, and men uh, who are caught in the crossfire uh, with the greater provision of humanitarian assistance. We announced, the President announced last night uh, a maritime uh, initiative which will be critical, but we, uh, we know as well that it is absolutely essential not only to maintain but to expand the land crossings into Gaza. Uh, that's the primary vehicle through which we will get uh, assistance to those who need it, uh, as well as airdrops and other methods that, uh, that we're using. Uh, but also once within Gaza, the assistance has to be distributed more effectively to people who need it. Um, and in this moment, in this hour, we're also intensely focused on seeing if we can get a ceasefire with the release of hostages, uh, the expansion of humanitarian assistance, and an environment for working on an enduring resolution. Uh, and there, the uh, issue is Hamas. The issue is whether Hamas will decide or not to have a ceasefire that would benefit everyone. Uh, the ball is in their court. We're working intensely on it. Uh, and we'll see, what, uh, we'll see what they do. But there's no doubt in my mind that um, getting to this uh, ceasefire with the release of hostages uh, would be a profound benefit to everyone involved. Uh, with that, Hakan, welcome. The floor is yours. Well, thank you, Tony. Um, I'd like to start by thanking to Secretary Blinken and his team for um, the uh, very warm hospitality that they extended to myself and to my delegation. And uh, well, we are here today to hold our seven uh, strategic uh, mechanism meeting, which was established by President Biden and President Erdogan back in 2021. And uh, our teams yesterday had an extensive discussions uh, on a wide range of topics uh, ranging from uh, security, regional cooperation, regional issues, uh, trade, energy, and other issues. Um, for the last couple months, uh, this is my third meeting that uh, I am meeting with uh, Tony, uh, because the uh, developments, geopolitical developments and regional developments dictate our uh, close cooperation and work, especially as he stated in his opening remarks, the uh, dire situation in Gaza requires our urgent attention as international community to stop the suffering of the innocent uh, people uh, and uh, they need uh, immediate humanitarian assistance. Uh, so um, that's why, I mean, we need to work uh, hard together uh, to make sure that uh, uh, the, uh, we have a ceasefire and we have a, uh, unhindered humanitarian assistance inside Gaza. And there are other uh, number of uh, regional issues as well, uh, Ukraine, uh, the Black Sea security, one of the uh, key issues that we discuss, and uh, we've been also discussing about some uh, key NATO issues, uh, primarily the membership of uh, new states that we have successfully managed to uh, <coughs> uh, finalize the process. Uh, again, we have uh, a lot of important issues on our table to discuss today, and I am once again very happy to be here with my delegation, and I once again thank to Tony and his team for their uh, hospitality. Thank you very much. Thanks, everyone.